neither of those what I found was really interesting was neither of the sections you worked on the crossfire and then uh, working through pain, I think is the title of the other section. Neither of them are incredibly Batman focused They're, uh The first one is more of a gritty cop story. And then the second one is more of a Bruce Wayne origin story. Yeah. So how did that, how did knowing those things kind of affect the way you were making the sounds for those parts of the film? Um, well, working through pain sort of had an Indian, like an Eastern Indian kind of flavor. So for me, it's more about like just hitting the right emotions and then also pulling in the right elements that fit the story. So for me, it was like the Duduk, some really interesting um, ethnic instruments for the bazaar area. Uh, some source music, you know, uh, sitar and other various instruments that just really help sell, you know, where you're at, the location, and then using that in a cinematic way to help tell the story. So that's kind of what I was focusing on. But yeah, I mean, in hindsight, when you look back, the, the two segments that I did were not as like classical, classically cinematic feature film wise as some of the other ones they're more subtle but there's definitely a, a, an intensity in both of those stories though i, I think yeah. you captured very well cool thanks what's the term when the music you're writing is the music that the characters are also hearing source music is like music that's happening on screen so if you yeah, that. that's if, it. So if people walk in if the characters in the film walk into a bazaar or a marketplace you know, in some Indian marketplace and off in the distance, maybe there's a, a band playing music. Yeah. That's, we call that source music. So you just write something that would be appropriate for source, uh, appropriate for the scene. And then when they mix the music, they'll maybe put an EQ on it or put some sort of effect so that, you know, it sounds like it's coming out of the TV or it sounds like it's coming from over there in the distance, maybe it's a little bit peppered into the left speaker, you know, and it sounds, it just kind of mixes in with the crowd noise or whatever, you know, it's, it's kind got, of how to do it. Well, let's, I actually want to play a little bit of that source music that you were descri describing from the bazaar, if that's okay. Sure. How much original music from that part of the world did you mentally take in before you wrote that? Well, uh, that's a good question. I, I can't remember. That was a long time ago. My son, I, I always think of 2008 is when my son was born and he's 13 now. So <laughs> 13 years ago. Um, but the, the woodwind player is Chris Bleth, who, who does amazing work and has worked on just tons of feature films. And you know, it was really awesome to get him in. And, um, you know, these awesome L.A. studio musicians, they'll you, know, you kind of give them some ideas and then they'll just go and vamp on it. So like the bizarre or something like that, it's like, how do I write some kind of weird Middle Eastern melody like that? Um, sometimes it's easier to just say, hey, you know, here's some rhythms and we're kind of in this key zone here. I'm thinking of, you know, this little motif, you know, and then let them just go crazy with it. Oh, so you do give the musicians a chance to sort of Improvise? Improvise? Not. Yeah, we did. We improvised on that. Um, okay. Melodies, usually not, but uh, you just kind of want them to inflect on melodies and that kind of thing. But um, that that's the excitement with working with musicians is when you can say, hey, what do you think? You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, thankfully, it's worked out in your favor because I bet it also turned very badly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can always tell them what to do, but it's always fun to have that freedom to, you know, collaborate, so to speak. 